What's up everyone, Magic Official here, and today I'm coming to you guys with a new unboxing of the very first arcade block. This is a block made by NerdBlock, and for those of the, you who don't know what NerdBlock is, it's a subscription service where you pay like 20 bucks or so, and you get a bunch of stuff you don't know what's in the box, and it's always geek-related, nerd-related, so like, things from comic books, things from video games, from like, Nintendo, or from Sony, or... Um, Universal Studios and stuff like that, like from different movies and things that nerds generally like. I had a nerd blocks for a while. I stopped getting it because I got kind of bored. I only wanted it mostly for the video game stuff, and there wasn't too much in it. There was every now and then something really awesome, but I don't know. I just got kind of bored of it, so I was like, meh. Um, but now they released Arcade Block, which is only video game stuff, which is awesome. So I could not pass up getting this and. Um, this is about 20 bucks a month, and if you want to get an arcade block of your own, link down in the description. Now, some people already got arcade blocks and opened them up, and so s some of you may already know what's in it. I still don't. I have not looked at any videos. All I know that's in here is that there's something from Tomb Raider, and that the shirt is a Zelda shirt. That's all I know. I don't know what Zelda shirt it is, but let's get right into it. So, let's start ripping open this box. I gotta use some scissors, hold on. Before I open it, let's look around it, because check that out. The box is an original NES. It even has, like, little ports. It's got comp the audio and video outputs, and there's the website arcade block. You can follow them on Twitter and Instagram and stuff. AC adapter. It even has the RF switch. Talk about attention to detail. And, yeah, this is a really nice box. I hope every month comes like this because I already damaged this box a little bit by when I ripped off the label. And here it has the Konami code. Type that in if you want. Okay. So, let's see what's inside. First off, the thing that's standing out the most is this Tomb Raider Lara Croft collectible bust. That's pretty cool. Um, I would open it, but that's going to take down the value, right? So... Uh, do I want to open it? It looks really cool. The detail looks really nice. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, the detail looks really nice. I don't know. She looks kind of wooden. Even though I know it's not wood, it's like probably plastic. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's put that over to the side over there. What do we got next? Oh, I guess a little card that shows what's in it. Let's save that for later. A Pac-Man pen. That's pretty cool. I might keep that. What is that? So it says, Try me. Tilt this card to see Ghost Chase Pac-Man. Okay. Um, so, I guess while you're writing, the Ghost Chase Pac-Man. There's the ghost. There's Pac-Man. So I'm guessing that when you actually write, it like moves the ghost down and then you lift it moves it up. I saw a bubble in the pen, so I'm guessing that uses water to do that. Here's the shirt. Uh, there's the shirt. It says, Hero of Time. It shows Link sh holding the Master Sword. And that's pretty cool. I'm a huge Zelda fan, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm not... Th I was expecting a much better shirt than this. I mean, this shirt is really awesome, but I don't know. I was expecting something different. I might give that to my brother or something. Let's see. I don't know. It's nice. I just... I don't know. Okay. Gears of War 3 collectible dog tags. That's pretty nice. They look just like the deer, the gears in the game. And it says... Property of the Coalition of Ordered Governments. That's pretty cool. Let's put that down over there. And we got a Yoshi... Uh, Yoshi Backpack Buddy. So it's a little keychain. I'm gonna rip that open right now. Take that out. And there's a little Yoshi. That's really nice. That's gonna go on my desk for sure. I'll put that on my desk. And, oh, this is awesome. An Ice Cube Tetris plate. Tr ice, a Tetris Ice Cube tray. So you can make ice cubes in the shape of the Tetris blocks. That is really awesome. Put that in my freezer. Okay, and that's it for what's in the box. Even the inside of the box is like a circuit board for like the NES. That is really, really cool. 
Okay, I'm gonna open. Well, I'm not gonna open up the Lara Croft, but I'm gonna open up the Pac-Man Motion Pen. Okay, so here is the pen out of its packaging, and we're gonna test its writing capabilities on this. Well, of course it's gonna write, but I mean, we're gonna see how Pac-Man gets chased. It's not chasing. Oh, there they go, see? The ghosts are chasing Pac-Man. That's pretty cool. That's a neat little thing. All right, well, that has been my video. This stuff was pretty cool for a first arcade block. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I think this is some pretty good stuff for anybody who really loves video games. So, yeah, so that has been Magic Official. I'm done with this video, and I'm doing a big giveaway on my channel. I am giving away a 3DS with Super Mario 3D Land, Pokemon Y, and this bad boy who I'm going to be reviewing over the weekend. Oh yes, Super Smash Brothers for Nintendo 3DS. So check out the link down below to see the video. I'm only gonna have the giveaway open for a couple more days, or actually one more day from this recording. Wow, okay, so one more day to get your submissions for the entry to win a 3DS with three awesome games, one of them being Super Smash Brothers. So that has been Magic Official, I am out. Peace.